Greetings, fifth grade mathematicians, and welcome back to another great day of teaching and learning in fifth grade math. Today's focus is adding and subtracting decimals to solve word problems. The problem up on the board reads as follows. It is Luna's goal to jog 27 and 5 tenth kilometers this week. She jogged 5 and 75 hundredth kilometers on Sunday and 3 and 5 tenth kilometers on Monday. How many more kilometers does she need to jog to reach her goal this week? So the first thing I want to do is go back into the problem and identify the beginning, middle, and end and circle my keywords or clue words in important numbers. So in the beginning of the problem, Luna has a goal to jog 27 and 5 tenth kilometers this week. Okay, so I'm going to circle 27 and 5 tenths. That's in the beginning. That's her goal. In the middle, she jogged five and 75 hundredth kilometers on Sunday and three and five tenth kilometers on Monday. That's the middle. How many more kilometers does she need to jog to reach her goal this week? So that is the end. The question is always my end. And I see that I have the keywords here, how many more, how many more. That signifies that I should subtract. But I really want to know how many more does she need to jog to reach this goal of 27 and 5 tenths. But do I know how far she's jogged already? No, I don't know how far she's jogged already. So that clues off to me that this is a multi-step problem. And the first step, I need to add 5 and 7 hundredth kilometers to three and five tenths kilometers. And if you'll notice, I am lining these numbers up based off of place value and the decimals are lined up, okay? And I'm gonna add these two numbers together. And to make this go smoothly, I'm gonna put a zero in any empty spaces, okay? So I have a hundredths place with a five and a zero. I have a tenths place with a seven and a five. And I have a ones place with a five and a three. And my zeros are filled into the empty spaces. Now I'm ready to add. So five plus zero equals five. 7 plus 5 equals 12. The 2 is going to go down low in the tenths place, and the 1 is going to regroup up top to the ones place. And then 5 plus 3 is 8, plus one more, don't forget your regrouping, is 9. And I'm going to bring the decimal point straight down. So Luna has jogged 9 and 25 hundredth kilometers so far. So that's step 1. Now I'm ready for step two. I'm ready to actually subtract. So I'm gonna go back into my problem and I'm subtracting nine and 25 hundredths from 27 and 5 tenths. So 27 and 5 tenths goes up top because that's the larger number. And then nine and 25 hundredths goes down low. slide my screen over a little bit to make sure I have enough room. And that's the nine goes in the ones place. The decimal points are lined up. The two goes in the tenths place and the five goes in the hundredths place. Put my subtraction symbol. Before I begin to subtract, I need to make sure I fill in my empty spaces with zeros. All right, I have one empty space right there, so I plug in that zero, and now I'm ready to subtract. Since zero cannot subtract five, I'm gonna regroup and borrow 10 from the tenths place. So the four becomes, I'm sorry, the five becomes a four because I borrowed 10, and the zero becomes a 10 because zero plus 10 is 10. 10 subtract five is five, Now, I'm ready to move on to the tenths place. Four subtract two is two. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my decimal point straight down. Now I'm in the ones place. Seven cannot subtract nine, so I'm gonna regroup and borrow 10 from the tens place. 
Change that two to a one. 10 plus seven is 17, okay? So 17 subtract nine is eight because eight plus nine is 17. And then one subtract zero is one, okay? So now I know that Luna needs to jog an additional 18 and 2,500 kilometers to reach her goal. So I'm gonna write it out as a sentence. Luna needs, cause I wanna make sure I'm answering my question with um, by restating my answer. So Luna needs to jog 18, and 2,500 kilometers to reach her goal this week or to reach her goal. And writing with this mouse is so fun. All right, mathematicians, this video is here. It's available for you. It will also be loaded into the YouTube channel as adding and subtracting decimals to solve word problems. Please continue on in this Nearpod with practice, 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 and then climb the mountain at the end. Thank you for tuning in, fifth grade mathematicians, and we'll see you back for another great day of teaching and learning and fifth grade math.